Now we would like to invite Mr. Shashidhar Thumuluri, Managing Director and CEO of Sapke Impact Solutions to say a few words and lead the next segment of the evening. Thank you, um, Tanvi. At the outset, uh, I would like to uh, thank everyone from the bottom of my heart for joining us in this momentous occasion. Uh, and thank you, VM, for, the opening, for opening this event, walking through the memory lane and launching Sapke Sardhi. This platform is built as a multi-product, multi-channel, multi-geography and multi-partner interface that enables all the key stakeholders to come together uh, seamlessly to deliver the promise of financial inclusion. And it does define the next phase of our journey. So you are in fact the true Sardi for us. The platform is named so to exemplify the aspiration behind this endeavor. By the way, uh, for the benefit of non-Indian participants, Sardi in Sanskrit is a Sanskrit word, which means charioteer, roughly translates into a driver or someone who uh, shows the direction. Let me now um, <clears throat> introduce two of our most esteemed guests who are joining us all the way from New York. Axion has been a force to reckon with as we straddle through this tough but an inevitable transformation. MasterCard has joined hands with Axion through MasterCard Axion Partnership project, which is aimed at digitalizing 10 million micro merchants in next three years. Subke is fortunate to have been selected as one of the 10 implementation partners from across the globe. We have with us Michael Froman, Vice Chairman and President, Strategic Growth MasterCard, and Michael Schleen, President and CEO Axion. Mike Froman, in his current role, is responsible for growing strategic partnerships, scaling new business opportunities, and advancing the company's efforts to partner with governments and other institutions to advance major social and economic issues. Mike oversees the MasterCard Center for Inclusive Growth and is a member of company's management committee. Prior to joining MasterCard, Mike was affiliated with the Council of Foreign Relations and continues to serve as a distinguished fellow. From 2013 to 17, Mike served as U.S. Trade Representative, President Barack Obama's Principal Advisor and Negotiator on International Trade and Investment Issues. From 2009 to 13, he served at the White House as Assistant to President and Deputy National Security Advisor for International Economic Affairs. Prior to joining Obama administration, Mike has held executive positions at Citibank, including CEO of its international insurance business, CEO of its $50 billion alternate investments business, and head of its investment infrastructure investment business. He helped shape the company's strategy for China, India, Brazil, and other emerging markets. Mike received a bachelor's degree in public and international affairs from Princeton University and a doctorate in international relations from Oxford University and a law degree from Harvard Law School, where he also served as the editor of Harvard Law Review. Michael Schlein brings nearly 30 years of extensive international banking, management, and public service experience to his role as president and CEO of Axion. Michael joined Axion in 2007 as a member of its board of directors and in 2009 became Axion's president and CEO. Prior to his employment at Axion, Michael served as the president of Citigroup's international franchisee management, where he managed banks network of 100 chief country offices. Before that, he ran communications, philanthropy, government relations, branding and human resources for Citigroup. He served as the Chief of Staff at the U.S. Securities and Exchange Commission in Clinton administration and in New York City Hall in Dinkins and Koch administrations. He began his career in investment banking. Michael has graduate and undergraduate degrees from Massachusetts Institute of Technology. Welcome, Michael and Mike. Really an honor to have you here and would be really looking forward to hear your views on how the MSMEs are really in need of digital transformation today. Majority of the world's MSMEs rely on cash and lack the resources they need to thrive in digital economy. Now that COVID has made it unsafe to exchange bills from one hand to the another, digitization is more important than ever for those, these businesses to survive and deepen their financial resilience. In the first of its kind partnership, MasterCard and Axion united their worldwide networks and resources to transform millions of underserved micro and small businesses and help them fully participate in and benefit from global digital economy. Subke is launching this new digital financial services platform developed through the support of this partnership. 
to better reach underserved small businesses in India with financial products that are most suited for their needs. Mike Roman and Michael Schleen will discuss the importance of digital transformation today. Over to you, Mike and Michael. Thank you for joining us. Uh, I am I am delighted to be with you. Thank you, Sasi. Thank you, uh, VJ. Thank you all for joining us today. Um, um, uh, VJ, I'm so glad you told that story. I, I do remember about 10 years ago, I had the chance to spend a good amount of time with VJ, uh, who was truly one of my heroes in the world. Um, and it was just after the crisis of Andhra Pradesh. And one day, VJ arranged a full day trip to the outskirts of Rajasthan. And we spent the entire day in the back of a car, and it seemed like we drove forever. And in the middle of nowhere, he showed me his newest idea. And it was the earliest version of what is now Sub-K. It, it was the pilot technology, it had biometrics, and it was helping to transform mom and pop stores into agents that could bring financial services to very remote locations. Um, it was the solution to the last mile, and I had never seen anything like it before. And it was a stunning vision of the future. And now it's such a great honor, um, 10 years later, uh, Sassi, to see what you and your team have done to take that idea to great scale, today reaching over 2 million clients in extremely remote villages um, in India where banks do not open branches. It, branches. It's been an amazing journey so far, and I think we all know we're just getting started. I'm also very excited to be joined today and chat with one of the smartest people I know, Ambassador Michael Froman. Uh, Mike, thank you for joining us. Um, we have a little time for a fireside chat today, and uh, we agreed we, we would both talk a little bit about four topics. Financial inclusion, especially now in the pandemic, the partnership between MasterCard and Axion and why we pulled that together, the critical importance in the role India plays in the world, and of course, Sub-K and now Sub-K 2.0. So let me start, uh, Mike, financial inclusion and the role in the pandemic, thoughts for you, for you to share. <laughs> Sure. Well, first of all, it's great to see you and thank you very much for having me. And let me start by congratulating Sub-K on its 10th anniversary. Uh, I really enjoyed watching the videos uh, at the beginning and hearing the earlier uh, speakers. It sounds like it's been a remarkable journey and we are very much uh, proud and honored to be uh, uh, supportive in, in over the last uh, couple of years in, in, in its transformation. Um, you know, on, on financial inclusion, Michael, you've been involved in this field for, for so long. For MasterCard, our history is really in some ways the same period of time as, as Sub-K. It's really been the last decade or so under the leadership of our CEO, Ajay Banga, who had hoped to, to be here and who sends his, uh, who sends his regards and, knows, uh, and, and has great regard for many of the people uh, on this conference. Um, we started focusing on financial inclusion because from our perspective, there is no real form of sustainable growth that is not inclusive growth. And bringing everybody into the financial system is a key part of putting them on a path towards uh, prosperity, wherever they are. And this is a problem in developed countries as well as developing countries. And some of the most important innovations, in fact, are coming from developing countries and being imported into developed countries. And I, I look forward to learning more about uh, subcase RT and figuring out how we can uh, uh, learn from it for, for, for the U.S. But particularly during this time of the pandemic, one thing that we have uh, underscored is uh, just how important it is to be part of the digital economy and for people to have access to digital tools that they need to succeed, whether as individuals or whether as uh, micro and small uh, business owners. And certainly what Sub-K is doing, uh, it's digi-touch approach, which I, I love, the last mile delivery, everyone having a financial service within a thousand meters. It's just a terrific step in that direction. And COVID has really underscored just how important it is that both micro and small businesses and individuals have that kind of connectivity to the digital economy. 